I'd like to share you one very effective working in solving a lot of emotional phobia, trauma, and the emotional. Emotional is the biggest part in our life. And emotional is here to stay. So in the Taoism, for back to 5,000 years, they discover the abdominal area and the organ store emotional, especially the trauma. The trauma will store in the organ and stay there and very hard. Now, in the West also discover that they think that a lot of emotional store in the brain. And actually, yes, they are a memory. The memory in the brain and they are trickling in here. So the process that we're going to do here is number one is learn how to breathe into the organs and learn how to release a few uh, pressure, uh, a few tight and tension in the organs. Gas, emotional, causing a lot of problem. So the first thing we want to do is the eye movement and the tongue movement uh, will help actually processing the negative emotional. Now, um, a lot of people in the West will know that we say, I have a rock in my stomach. And actually, it's a twist, a tangle, an emotional. They are started to tangle together and they become a lump here. And no matter what you do, counseling, or you try to talk to the people, the lump and the knot is still there. So in the Taoism of the Chi Nei Zhang, the e emotional part, you are actually hand on and talk to the people and using the eye, because the eye movement, left and right eye movement, or the tongue, when you move the tongue left and right, it actually activates the left and right brain. And it access the device, and when you, and when the, let the people start to smile and aware the organs, aware the feeling, especially when you press, you find some tension there, and you hold it there, and let the people processing it, and smile to the area that they are so pain, so tight. And uh, this is, the solving of the problem is very powerful. So the first thing, we always like to clear out the navel area. The navel, so we press along the navel, because in the Tao belief, this is the place where we born and where the all sort of problem will become here. So the, um, the navel, you, you started to press the navel, okay? Started to press and loosen, and sometimes you read your finger and you press their ring in the, in the navel, and you keep on loosen that ring. Don't make it too tight, okay? Don't make it too tight. So you loosen, so your finger is one thumb down and the finger and keep on loosen the, um, the navel area. The next one, a lot of people have problem with from the navel all the way straight line up to the sternum. And in the Taoism, we believe that when stress, when pressure, when nervous, when tension, when fear, the, this line will be very tight. In fact, it's involved with the aorta and vena cava. Usually when you press down, you feel the pulsing of it. And that is the aorta and vena cava. So when you press on that point, you press on it. And um, you start to, to press slowly, respect the body, respect the organ. When you press down and you go a little bit deeper, and you feel the tension and the tightness, and you slowly, slowly loosen it up. Slowly, slowly loosen it up. And you go up. And you slowly, slowly loosen it up. Sometimes you, very important part is one finger technique. You try to find the tension, the tightness, the knot, and tangle. And that is the emotional causing the problem. So you very gentle massage from the navel all the way up to the sternum. And uh, sometimes, now this is tension, so I tell her, uh, it may be come from the stress, come from the phobia, come from the trauma, 
come from anything. So I tell her to, when they press any emotion, any, any thought or emotional rises up, so I tell her to just close the eye, think, and smile to the point that I press that are very painful, and move the eye, left, right, left, right, left, right, about 10 to 20 times. Okay, left, right. Now, they also can move the tongue on the palate, left, right, left, right, left, right, for about 20 times, and rest. Now, also, um, if the people are very, very heavy trauma, if you, if you press on the point and tell the people to, to think about a happy, when you get out of the trauma, and you, and, and you ask the people again, can you still remember when you think over that situation, and you think that you still remember it, okay, we get on again, and we do another set, or two set, or three set, until the emotion and the pain gone. The important part is the pain that you press down is dissolved. So actually, it started to wipe out the memory in the brain, and uh, the organ like uh, hardware recording down here, and it started to clean out. So in this way, if you can clean them out, it become get off the emotional. Okay. Now, and also good to re-establish the good feeling when there are no more, no more pain here. We need to restore a good memory back, okay? And um, oftentimes people only have remember a bad, bad part of the, the, the abdominal. That means all oh, stomach cramp, stomach pain, abdominal tension, and blow off. We only remember that. So when you when you get solved the problem, you started to press on the point and tell the people to aware the nice good feeling here, and move the eye for about eye and the tongue left, right, left, right for 10 times. And, uh, and, and feel an, a, a happiness feeling. So when you go to this line and find the tension, find the tension. Now, when you clear this line, the next one involved with the, um, the rib cage. The rib cage. So you started to do the rib cage. You started to do start from. We can start on the right side of the rib cage. The lower part we call um, lung reflexology point. When you move up, you call liver reflexology point, gallbladder reflexology point, and when you come up to the sternum, we call the heart reflexology point, and you come down. To be between the solar plexus, we call heart pericardium or heart constriction reflexology point. Now, the rib cage from the left side down, we have the stomach, the triple warmer, the spleen. Okay, so it's going to be in the lung on the lower part. So we need to first release the um, release the rib cage. So you use the thumb like this, go in. You push the thumb, thumb in and you started to press. You started to press and circle your finger and release, release the tension. The same time when you release the tension, you also release the emotional. This area are so much involved with the liver area. So when you do the liver area and you release the liver tension and uh, like the angry, jealousy, envy, frustration. So when sometimes when you must suffer why people have some emotional and you find a tension part, you hold that place and tell people to think about the area and you started to processing it. 
so you move the eye, uh, eye left, right, left, right, and the tongue, and smile to the area, and just let, let the emotional being processing out, okay? So liver store a lot of emotional and th store a lot of toxic inside there. And when you finish the liver and the lungs, we can um, go to the, the heart, the heart point. The heart point is right on the sternum down, on the middle here. And people have hatred, nightmare, impatience. Impatience is a lot stored here, okay? And the people hastiness, impatience, hatred, he can creating a lot of uh, uh, energy uh, in this area. So some people you press down is very painful. The heart point right below the sternum and is a point that store a lot of emotional like hastiness, impatience, and cruelty and hatred. So when you press down here and you start to spiral, some people will creating a lot of emotional. Okay? So you press there. And when they started to trigger out, trigger out the emotional, tell the people, you hold the point, and tell people to process things about move the eye, left and right and tongue, for about 20 times, okay, or 25 times, and rest, and do again. See the, see the point started to release or not. If you release, you can restore back a better, me good memory, okay. And um, the heart constriction below the heart point on the solar plexus is the heart constriction, or we call a pericardium. And there is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of emotional uh, right there, a lot of emotional. So if you can um, hot, heat, rush, impatient, all very similar connecting with the heart. So the... Um, the next point, um, along the left, left side of the ribcage, along there we have the stomach and the pancreas and the triple warmer. And the last one is the spleen. In the Tao, we believe that the spleen involved with so much uh, worrying problem, worrying problem, okay? And the anxiety, worry, and it can be anxiety and worry can be any part of the body, it's not restriction to only the spleen. But when you when you loosen all this, it will trigger some kind of memory. And when it triggered out, you started to work with it, it will clean them out. Okay. Now the um the um the kidney, we believe that they store a lot of fear. So if you think about the navel, come out and on the both sides along the navel out on the both side along up like this the kidney so a simple way to just massage the kidney on the top of the kidney and along here and sometimes people might experience fear nervousness tension and stress and that is um, we believe that the kidney is responsible for fear emotional phobia Fear, trauma can make the kidney so contract and so tight. So when you massage it, you, you actually can feel you on the top of the kidney and you lightly massage it. When the, the fear coming up, you hold that point and tell the people to start it to smile to the place that what you... Sometimes people uh, have too much, it's very hard to smile. But you can tell them to think and aware of the point and move the eye left and right, move the eye, and move the tongue, and started to, and you can feel the processing, the tension has started to lesser and lesser here, much lesser, until it's gone, okay? And you restore back a good memory. It's moving the eye about 10 times, okay? Now, another part that, about the rib cage, the sternum, Okay, the sternum and the ribcage 
are so involved with the heart and the lungs, especially the heart. The ribcage store a lot of, we call, emotional eat into the bones. The emotional actually eat into the bone. Now, nearly all emotional, especially hatred, pain, and uh, trauma, all emotional are caught in the bone here. So the, there are a few ways to do it. When people have too much pain or smaller body, you just do their finger, start from the lower part of the sternum and spiral and massage it. Okay, spiral and massage. And you start it to move up. And um, so you keep on moving. Sometimes you are looking for like, uh, like fatty tissue or deformed tissue and the bone actually deformed. Okay? So sometimes you need a knuckle, a bigger person, you need a knuckle. And the knuckle you have to be straight down and you started to spiral like a drill, slowly drilling it and drill on the problem. And people can be very, very pain. And sometimes people outburst the emotional out. So um, you have to, when it's too much, you hold on that, that spot, tell people to process it. Smile to the pain and start it to processing the emotional. Okay? And you go on for you have to do very thorough on the sternum. If you divide the sternum into three layers, uh, uh, that means three, three part center, left, right, on the sternum. And you go to the next, 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 until you finish the whole sternum. Now, the next one is on the side of the rib cage. The rib cage has tremendous also store the emotional. Okay? So, um, between the rib cage and the sternum, store a lot of emotional. And the heart, the heart, the heart one, so between the rib of three and four, four and five, and that is directly on the heart. Okay. Now, so you, are, you must start between the rib cage. And that is, especially when people have heart attack, very gentle, but it helps. Because when people have heart attack, it's so much pain caught in here. And the whole sternum are very, very painful. Okay? The muscle and the sternum is very pain. So you need to massage below the collarbone and the sternum. And that is another very important point we call the duct coming up. And, and, and drain the lymphatic fluid, in, lymph fluid into the, the heart. And that is another point that a lot of people have problem and a lot of people have emotional. Okay? And it need to be released them out. And oftentimes it can help tremendously in the heart attack. Now, when you hire it, you use the knuck, uh, knuckle. You can have chain to middle finger knuckle and uh, index finger knuckle, and, uh, or the fourth finger knuckle, okay? So, but when you use the knuckle, it go deep, pass through the, um, it pass right through the thymus gland. And it really stimulate and release a lot of deep emotional. But use knuckle, a lot of people in the beginning are very painful and cannot take that kind of pain, okay? So, now when you come up to the right side, between the ribcage and the sternum, it's more the lung. It's more about the lungs, emotional in the lung. Okay? So you, between the ribcage, and you find the deformed part, and you try to get rid of it. Okay? So we finish most of the um, emotional. We start from the um, navel, middle of the line, which respond to all the emotional. And the rib cage, right rib cage, left rib cage. So we have lungs, liver, gallbladder, stomach, 
Tipo warmer is involved with all the glands, regulating all the heat in the body, and the spleen. Okay, so the next one we want to restore back, back good energy into the organ. So we start with the lung breathing. So you, you touch on the lower rib here and tell the people to breathe in. Inhale, breathe to my finger. Exhale with the lung sound. Again, inhale. Breathe into the lung and smile to your lung. Exhale. Again, inhale. So it's about 9 or 18 times. It's good. And you can touch on the top. Also the lung part. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. So you smile and breathe into the lung and expand and restore the chi. And you touch on the left and right, uh, right top and bottom of the lung. Inhale, expand bottom and top. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Left, top and bottom. Inhale. And exhale. Now, the next one, the liver. After you clear out the program, clear out the emotional, breathe into the liver. Okay? And smile to the liver with the sound. And uh, you touch the liver. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now when people can do more, you can processing, you can tell them to think about the, uh, the color also. So the lung will give them a white color and the liver will give them a green color and you feel good and nice and revitalize and strengthening the liver. So inhale and exhale. Smile, forest green into your liver. It helps detoxify the liver. Now, we come up to the heart, middle of the sternum, and the heart sound is ho sound. So inhale, exhale, smile, smile out to your heart and this point. Again, inhale, exhale with the heart sound, and red light. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Triple warmer. So in between the left side, in the between here, the triple warmer, we have upper warmer, middle warmer, lower warmer. Sometimes we call a circulation sex also. So when you exhale, you feel the heat from the upper part going right down to the sexual center, sexual organ. So you inhale. The triple warmer is the sound is we call he, he sound. So inhale. Exhale with the heat sound. So you feel the upper heat going down to the middle and loud to the lower part. Again, inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Sometimes when you open and breathing, you feel the liquid moving. 
click, 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 click in there is the sign of opening, especially you breathe them. Okay, and we have the spleen on the left side, nearly on the bottom part, is the spleen, and um, the sound is and the yellow color. And inhale, smile to the spleen, and exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. And so that is the emotion, uh, the organ you restore the organ back. This is very effective to clean out the emotional because the emotional store in the organs and you need to work, work on it. So you combine with the, with the mind, with the uh, psychology way, and with the physical way, it works and it really can clean out the emotional for the people. And uh, oftentimes, people, you can clear the brain, but there's so much pain physically. Nearly everybody has a knot, a tangle, or a rock in the stomach. Okay? 